Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick video on my uh, rain barrel pump that I decided to go with here. It just arrived. Um, as you know before from my other videos, I have uh, two 330-gallon uh, tanks for my rainwater. It's not uh, in its permanent position right now, but uh, just for testing the pump, I can show you I have, well, it looks like about 50 gallons of water in the tank. Um, this is the pump that I went with. It's a 12-volt on-demand pump, meaning it will, it will shut down um, when I release the hose trigger, when it reaches the uh, 45 psi, and then come on when it needs uh, when I need water. So it's uh, this one here is five gallons per minute. You can see 45 psi, um, and you can adjust it up to I think 100 max, but 45 is good for what I need it for. Um, so here you can see it's just I just have this one deep cycle battery here for now. Um, the reason I went with 12 volts, as you know from my other videos, I'm going to run it off the uh, deep cycle batteries that I have in the, the solar panel that uh, is charging those. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the kind of flow that you get out of a pump like this. Um, I think I have about 50 feet of garden hose, uh, just your regular standard 3 8 garden hose. And I'll give you an idea of what kind of pressure you get out of it and flow. Oh, there you go. So that works pretty good, and you can hear that the pump is uh, pretty quiet. I think that'll be good for washing the cars or whatever I need to do with it. Run the sprinkler or water the gardens. There you go, I think that works pretty good. I wouldn't say it's any more or any less pressure that you would get from your regular garden hose. So I think this, uh, I think this setup's gonna work pretty good. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them. Thanks.